gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss. <laughs> check it, check it, man. <laughs> okay. Boss. She was jamming to Boss. it a while ago. Yes. Boss. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Tell yeah, we gon' talk, talk, we gon' have fun. <laughs> we be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a it's unique fire. hustle. Big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Mr. Maker. Well, go on. You What's know, going on? Dab, I'm dab, I'm dab. Man, Saturday, man. Just let y'all in on it. Nigga, y'all don't know it's Saturday, but we're going to give it to y'all today. Check it, man. We got a great person that stepped on our... Hey, we went and checked a, a video out last. Uh -huh. Exclusive. We didn't. Everybody couldn't get in. Mm -mm. Everybody couldn't get there, but mm -hmm. we was there. And it was a great time. It was a great time and great timing, right? Exactly. Check it, man. Terry Terry is in the building. What's, What's going up? on, baby? Hey, I got on. How you doing, young lady? I'm doing great. Man, it's good to have you on the show, man. Yes, sir. So it, this on Boss Talk 101. Yes, sir. Where the bosses talk. Hmm. So, <laughs> so Terry Terry, man. So, so I know the people going to want to know. Who you are, because you got a different type of sound. The way your music is, it's yeah. totally different than anything that I've been hearing here recently. And mm -hmm. if y'all don't know who she is, y'all need you to look her up. No, because y'all go. If you don't know, you gon' know. You By the end of this show. Man, damn right. man, we gonna pull it up then. Right. Exactly. We I got wanna, to. We got, you, you do have some, a video. I know you got some music out. I got some music out. Yeah. I got a whole album out. Y'all go get gumbo. Gumbo. Y'all make sure y'all get some gumbo. What's the what, what's one of your favorite tracks on? I won't get these niggas started. Hold on, hold on. Before you do all of that, tell us how long ago did you start doing this? I know I want to pull a song up though, so I have it in my Well, y'all, um, <clears throat> to let you know, actually, I started about I'm gonna say about four years ago. Wow, four years ago. It's really I put it on a bucket list, and I had actually I was going through some things back home, so I just decided. Yeah. Back really, home, where you from? Texas County. Okay. She a Texas girl. Because she almost baby. sound Texas like baby. Louisiana, the way See, how she talks. I'm talk. raised in Cullis Spring Hill, Louisiana. All okay, because you still have that accent, that Louisiana accent. Well, it's not really. I, it's, I yeah, I know. hear it a little bit. I thought it was just country. I think because Texas County, though, it's a borderline. It's got Arkansas, you got Texas, and Texas, Louisiana. And Louisiana. It's a whole borderline. Arkansas, so Texas. Arkansas, Texas. So you got so many talking. people coming from, you know, different areas and right. coming to Texas County making the city. Yeah. So then, you know, it, but when I was young, my mama took us back home, you know. So then I went back to Texas and graduated and stuff. So, you know, I kind of got both. You love Texas I love, I love both of them. I love both of them. Like, they both my own. They both made me. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So um, how old were you when you started singing? I really did. I really just, um, if it'd be crazy because I really had a dream. And uh, it kind of like grew stronger with my voice, like I was supposed to do something. How long ago did you have that dream? So, well, I probably was like, I started late in this, like 25. Mm. And then I started following the dream, but I never thought I ever do this. And my voice just started growing with it. So what were you doing before? Uh, just working. Let me, working, let me, us getting in trouble. Let, let's let's, let's <laughs> go back. Let's go, let, let, let me take you all the way back. So. Um, was there ever a time when you felt like you wasn't, you didn't know who you were? Yeah, there I was, was on a time a you had you had, had, had I, I I dug a little deep and found out you've been through a lot of stuff. Yeah, I have. Like like some 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 homelessness and some. Let's talk about that. Mm. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, oh, I you. Have. Oh, you on boss because talk. I'm, I'm checking you, everything out. One of the main reasons why we like they can to help talk somebody, you know what we, I mean. We use our platform to help people. There's so yes. many people out here who are lost. Yeah. Who don't know how to handle certain situations, but seeing a person as yourself who overcame something mm -hmm. and really striving to be bigger and mm -hmm. better. It might motivate them to be that way exactly. as well, yeah. exactly. and that's what we should always do with our lives: is help repay someone else. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so just give us a little spiel on kind of how everything. Well, transpired. you know, uh, I had a baby young. Okay. Uh, my mama had her kids young, so okay. you know how it is. You know, mm -hmm. going through it mm -hmm. or whatever. She didn't have a baby daddy. So, okay. You know, so then it kind of left up on my grandma. Mm -hmm. Her son died. Wow. You know, then her, her other son kept going to jail, so okay. you know she couldn't. Deal with all it. So then me and my mom kind of, we had like a, maybe um, a, like a misunderstanding. I oh, it say. happens. It happens. I it's, didn't understand her. Yeah. I didn't understand the things she was doing at the time. But as I grew older, I, I you understand understand. It, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get but it. But it's kind of like we repeated 
the same thing that happened to her mom that happened to her mom. They call it generational, generational, no, generational, generational curses. curses. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, grew up the same way. I kind of grew up. I didn't really have no respect for a little minute. I didn't have no respect for nobody. Yeah, yeah, and Nobody yeah. really. Not um, even yourself. N no. I'm a, I always had respect for myself. I was just mad at the world. I didn't have no daddy. I met my dad when I was 23. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, 20, 20, yeah, 23 turned on 24. So, so that's when you met it. him? Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. I mean, so you didn't have a, I, a male I, role model in your life when you were younger? I had a male role model, but they were in trouble too. Oh, you okay. Know? So they weren't. Okay. I you got know? you. But got I had you. my uncle. My uncle been there. But then when he went to jail, you know, that little time kind of made me grow up on the street. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So that part, and I, everybody I know, that like out. I had a son in high school, and he died. So then I had a, another baby right out of it, and then I kind of, you know, me, my mom, me, we wouldn't have no good talk. So I, you know, I appreciate my best friend because she, she let me she sleep on her flow. Okay. She, she stole for me. I really, I got to respect her for that. You know. So what I'm going saying? through all of the trauma that you went through mm -hmm. growing up, um, did you have any time where you could process of healing? Oh, yes. I think that's why I left Texarkana. I had to heal because I just, I think I just got tired. I just got tired. I, I kind of left everything behind, just sold whatever. And I just went from time to time till I find my spot. Like, then I ended up in Tyler. And it, I went up from there. And I just started all the way over. I didn't know nobody. They didn't know me. I was already struggling when I left. I might as well try when, you know, right. somewhere else. Right. And then I just, actually, it ain't even, I can't say it's me, it's God. Exactly. It's you God. have to give him the glory. Yes, good. Lord. You always got it. Lord do. knows. I didn't. Because I didn't. you're here <laughs> right now, and I'm telling you, no matter what you go through in life, it could have been worse because there's so it many people out there have it worse than you do. It could have been. And even worse. when you think you hit rock bottom, that's your rock bottom, but somebody else's rock bottom is a lot lower than right. where you got. You wow. know what I mean? Right. I like that. I just know that when you speak behind these mics, uh, therapeutically, people can. Uh, get things that they wouldn't normally get. So right. as you speak, there can be healing going on out in those outer waves. So when this stuff goes out into the masses, man, we never know who we're going to connect with. So it could be another person that's just, you know, pretty much going through it and mm -hmm. don't know how they're going to get out of it. And they may hit Boss Talk 101 podcast and be and, and hear, or, or go on YouTube and see and hear something that could help them to understand their situation. That's one thing we pray all the time. I know I specifically, That's what this is for. I yes. specifically pray that God, you know, turn our channels on to who needs to hear it. Right. Who needs to heal. You right. know what I mean? Because that's what we want to use our platform for. Right. You know, and I love and I appreciate everybody who's sitting in the seat that you're in right now and have the courage to tell their story. Right. You know, because not everybody do. And I respect it. I love it. I love it, especially coming from black folk. Hey, <laughs> hey. So, you know, Terry Chair is a, a, a unique individual. You know what I mean? The, the music is just different, man. And I love her music. And I love the fact that she told me that she's just starting this. So it feels like people who are older and, and, and trying to chase a dream, mm -hmm. some people make you feel like you're too old to start. Mm -hmm. Like, why start now? Why not start when you were younger? Why chase it right now? Right. But I love because I see the gift in you. I see your talent. So you always live your life with no regret. Right. And I love the fact that you're chasing because if you didn't chase it, you, you would have sit down one day and be like, man, I wonder if I could have. I wonder if I would have. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I applaud you for chasing it. Wow, I like that. I like that. So, what, 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 uh, what's, what's the thing that when you get in the studio, how does it, how does, how does that process work for you? <clears throat> so, y'all, I always make these sounds, right? Mm -hmm. It took me a long time. I'm gonna say I always thought of it in my head, but I could never. I, I made some songs, but I never could change my voice. In my mind, I was like, why I don't sound like Megan M? Why I don't sound like this? And keep making this sound, right? And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to embrace it. And then mm -hmm. I made this song called Mean Coat. And it went from there. Like, I really thought that my city was going to be like, I know she ain't trying to, I know Terry I ain't uh, her trying to, you know, uh, be no rapper like everybody right. else, you know. So I was like, but it, was, it really wasn't for nobody but myself, to exactly. free myself. So I did that, man, ever since then. Everybody loved it. <sighs> man, God turned it up for you. He turned it up. You know, I I'd seen I'd seen uh, Joe Jr. Yeah, and that Mariah and Mariah Carey. 
Is it a song? That oh, yeah. He, and I think he referred to Terry Cherry yeah. in that song. Oh, I'll be into it now because I, I love that boy. You know, mm-hmm. I'm from there. I'm, that's where I'm from, too. I graduated where Joe's from. Mm-hmm. So I watch everything. <laughs> you was like, dang, how you, yeah, yeah, I'm in that thing, man. I'm watching what's going on. So do you think, was he referring to you in that? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I mean, you influencing the people to, they look and see what you got going, man. And mm-hmm. and it's it's exciting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, that that's the that part right there, man. It's very exciting. Um, ooh, you got a lot of stuff on here, and I love that you embrace your voice. But I want to know you. You talk about your dream, but you never actually told us what was the dream. Oh, uh, my dream is really, yeah. I don't want to. I want to call myself like a special genre. I think my influence is to eventually lead people to God. Like that's wow. that's what I'm trying to do, that's good. and. Regardless, I didn't know how. Boy, you right? on the right podcast. Well, I want to hear what she said. Ooh, we man. Um, when I said I had a dream, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I was just tired. I was like in a place, y'all. I somebody left their kids with me for a year and ran off, left me a note, and I was, it was crazy. And I was, I had my kids, I had her kids for about a year, and I was trying to start. I was just trying to start my own business. Everything I lost, everything. But I wouldn't let them kids give up. I couldn't. Because I, I even took her to their mama house and, the, you know, her mama house. And I was like, hey, you know, your daughter, whatever. She was like, well, call the state. You feel me? But I love them kids. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all, I've been through some things. I've been through some things. So I lost everything, really. And and then I was like, I was just really living from check to check. And I got tired of it. I, my baby daddy's. You know, one of them only want to help, and then the other one don't sometimes. And I got tired of that. I just wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? So I, I had to look at my kids and say, hey, and mama, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna have to show y'all, you know, that I can't give up. I, ain't no, I am not finna work to death just to have y'all happy and happy life if I can't, if I can't show you it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's special. So then I got tired. I was just tired. I was on my floor. I remember I was drinking some Hennessy. Mm-hmm. You hear me? I was drinking some Hennessy in my closet, just boohooing. And then I found out I was pregnant again. Ooh. I said, shit. Y'all, I had, Lord, pregnant please forgive again. me. I had abortion. Wow. And during the abortion, I thought I was, uh, I don't know what, I thought I was freaking out. Mm-hmm. And I seen a little boy in the corner. You know what I'm saying? I seen a little boy, and I kept, and then afterwards, it kept having the same dream over and over. But the little boy never said nothing. Like, remember, I lost my son. Right. But this little boy was, I was on the table, and it, and it hunted me for a long time. It hunted me for a long time. I was, I remember just, I kept having the same dream. The little boy just staring at me while I'm just like he waiting on the baby to come out. You know, he don't never say nothing. He just being, and it felt real. It felt like it was real. Mm-hmm. But then when you tell somebody and you black, they tell you crazy. No, 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 no You know no, what I'm no, saying? No, no. But so I just kind of kept myself to myself, you know. And then uh, one time, you know, I just kept having the same dream. So I said something because it just scared me to death. And then. He just started singing. The little boy was singing. And I was thinking to myself for a long time, what was what what is this? Like mm-hmm. what is, what do it mean? What do it mean? So after that, I just tried to start singing. I just tried to keep start singing. And I know I really wanted to be one, but I didn't know if my voice was enough, so I tried to start rapping. So then I started remembering my church melodies, you know. And then as the days grew and grew, and I'm like, God, show me what I'm supposed to be. And like, I'm supposed to be mopping up this flow. I'm not supposed to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be keep making these same mistakes. So then he's like, you know what? Sing. And I sit down. I wrote a whole song. I wrote a whole song. And then I kept praying and praying about it. And my voice kept going stronger and stronger. So I knew that that dream, that that man, you know what I'm saying, or that boy, it's just... It was. It just felt so real, you know. What I'm so saying? it was a sign for you to go ahead yeah. and sing. Yeah, it was. A, it was a sign. It just says sing, you know. That's the. That's the only word. And I'm like, I can't sing at the time. I wouldn't think about singing. I was working at a hotel. I know, you know. But I'm. I know I'm always singing around for myself, you know. And I'm always humming and doing stuff for myself. So, and then I knew that was that was my pressure to let myself out. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, after that, I started singing, 
and I knew I had a, I knew I had a gift from God, and I knew I kept changing myself because everything started falling in place. The people kept falling in place. People mm -hmm. start, you know, showing me, you know, where I need to be in life. People start influencing where I need to be in life. So, man, I mean, the thing I can say is God has a way of meeting you where you're at. Yeah. So the thing that you went through is something to where only God could contact you in that way. So a lot of times people don't don't know how they interconnect in with God. And so that was him speaking to you about your gift. Mm. So I think that's that's powerful. Right. And it goes stronger and it grew it kept growing. And then I kept asking like, okay, so what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to write another song? But if you ever listen to the lyrics of my song, you know where it come from. It come from faith and it come from really being in my own reality. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all for real, get your life right with God. Yeah, yeah. If Definitely. you ever been through something and some ever shock you, like it, it, some shock you where you believe that it, it felt real to you, get your life right with God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got, you got it. You got to put him first. So, I want to get into the music. What is a song that you just done recently that where a video the last one Twan did for you? Waves. Waves. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm on the right one. <laughs> I just be loving the, I be loving the the, the movement. So yeah. there, that's a whole, that's a whole. You got you got a vid to it as well, huh? Oh yeah. And you just got the song up as well. Yeah. Man, I like that. The fact that um, you know, you uh, you stay focused. So are you uh, are you managing yourself, or how, how's that going for you? Well, I just particularly uh, got a manager. Um, I'm in this little group. You know, we all lift each other up. We help each other. That's called the I Thirty Cartel. Shout out to all my brothers. Mm. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, I got friends that help me, it's Creative Studios, Sergeant B. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, that's my all guy. Them, you know what Kobe I'm saying? Kobe just walked in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, all yeah, these yeah. people. So, yeah, um, for sure. That's uh, hot. So, all the artists in TK, I don't want to hear You know, I love all y'all. Okay. Oh, yeah, but that's why I was I was trying to understand how you end up doing videos with uh, Twan when Heat HD is working over there and a couple more of the guys. So is it because you're yeah. in Tyler? Or no, I, 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 you know, I want to uh, branch out to everybody. Okay. You know, I don't want to just. I just always don't. seen them one do one, one side and the other kind of because he and Marsh. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, but I, I do both of them. You work with both, both of them. them? I work with both of them. Yeah. He, done, he done just did gangsta love for me. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like that, man. I like you sure. bridging the ground. You, you're a bridge instead of a wall. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's East Texas. It got to be Texas. Man, it's on my chest. Stop playing. It can't be just one of us. We got to be all, all of us. All of us. The yeah. Texas. The girl said the Arkla Texas earlier. You hear me? It's going down, so I'm a, I'm gonna listen at a little bit of this uh, Terry Terry. They gonna ban my stuff if I don't. I got you know she got to get the money for it and all that. I'm I'm lit hard, man. And huh? the way how you sing is like people can feel every word you yeah, say man. and feel it's what a, you're going listen, through. You special. I you are. Ain't nothing. I hey man, that. man, listen, man. <laughs> that, and it ain't nothing like it. That's the whole game. Like I love, I love different, bro. For that, sure. That, that, that's hot, man. I ain't gonna let you know. I we have a lot, man. We have a lot of talent coming in here, man. Mm -hmm. Boss Talk One Hundred One. We be we be setting them in that seat, man. It and you write all down. your music? Yes. Oh wow. Yes, I write but is all. That, is that is that is that is that really? I mean, is that auto tune or anything on your voice? What's going on with that, man? Or do you naturally you know have it like that? <laughs> No, the reason why he acts, let me tell you, the reason why this he acts. This sounds so smooth, bro. Let like, me tell you, I'm that person who loved, we just, I just told um, No Shame before he left here, I said, I love R&B. The new generation, they're putting auto-tunes on all, on all the voices. And I, I like it, so don't get it twisted. And he likes yeah. it, she yeah. but I don't about, like I it like because it. I think I feel you more she when old. you don't have she it. Yeah, I'm stuff. old, sorry. Yeah. But I feel you more when you... When you sing like you sing straight to me instead of the auto tune, it's like I can feel it in my bones in every aspect of me. I can feel you. You right. know what I mean? And I that's what both. I want. I can do both. I don't feel right. it in auto tune. I'm sorry. I don't. Nah, I, I like both. But what's your artist? What, what's your view? What's that's your what preference? Matters. This is my boss. This is how I sound. Oh, I, all it. That's me. That's me. Can you give me a little bit? <coughs> I got you. Let me think of something here. Wow. Hmm. Humble blessings upon myself, it's no more big stress. Lord, I thank you for all my wealth, it's no more second guess. I ain't running these streets no more, I'm trying to leave right. Patience was the key to success and it was worth the fight. My little babies, they got their mama, so you know they good. Trying to show them a different way instead of in a hood. This is my appreciation, just to let you know. I 
I couldn't do this without you, so I wrote for you. Wow, man. Man, Terry, Terry, you special, man. <laughs> hey, man, listen, man. Hey, man, Boss Talk 101 is, hey, man, we getting them in here, man. Hmm. And, and, and and it touches you. The music is nice, man. Sure. Like, we need different. We don't need we don't need the same thing. Everybody don't shouldn't sound the same. Yeah, and I feel like you bring a special sauce that nobody else has. Yes. What you think? Yes, you do. You are something special. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I really yeah that, and, and I de- I definitely man. I, I listen, man. I know. I already know. Ain't no thinking about it. I know that 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 what you doing is is something totally that could transcend culture. Yeah, it don't just stick with us. It's gonna it's gonna hit the other every every John every every person can love mm-hmm. that music, man. I am so excited! I can't wait for the world to hear you. Thank you. I really, I really do because it. I really feel like they will. There's anytime I hear difference in voices like how you do it, I think about like the Lauren Hill, the Erica Badu, you know, certain people. Right. Um, what's that old old old? Uh, I'm seeing her face, but I can't remember her name. Joe. Um, Real oh. old, old. <laughs> Nina Simone. That's why no, I be listening that's to her. Um, Tina Turner. I love Tina. No, she 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 bought Tina Turner age around that around that them them days. So when you get the money, you ain't gonna forget about me because you gonna get it. You know, yeah, she gonna I get it. Damn. She you gonna know, get it. So are you in this? <laughs> are you in this one hundred percent? Are you working right now? You know what? I'm working still. Like, I still got a real Ain't life. nothing wrong with that. And I ain't ashamed about it. Keep breaking to you. Man, Trillian 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 so they feel like they're not giving their all in the music if they're working a full time job. Yeah, I say when we read it, if your bank account don't, please don't think that music is gonna make itself off top. It's not. I don't want nobody following it and think that they gonna just come out here. It's not. You feel me? You got to work your way up. It's just like a job. Wow. But until you know that you're there, don't be trying to impress nobody. You ain't got to be nobody but you. Show us your real life. That's you right. Know? Yeah, go I like live. That. Go live. I like that. We want to see you live. Everything. Sure. Go live. It's hard on a nigga. Hmm. <laughs> I can. I can see. I can see Miss Terry Cherry giving back because she's. Oh yes. Her soul is a type of yeah. person that you seem like you will help the world. Man, listen, y'all. I can see that. I want my my daddy. He got um, adopted kids too. He have a lot of kids, and I love it. I love kids, and I want to have my own lot of kids. You know, but I want to make sure I give back to my community. And I ain't talking about recreational parks and things of that nature. I'm talking about, like, jobs. Put some jobs so mm-hmm. we can make some money Definitely. inside our communities, please. Definitely. Put some daycares in those jobs so they can have somebody watch them. Like, we need stuff like that, okay? We don't need no park. We got no parks. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful, mm-hmm. okay? Wow. We need some jobs. We need wow. some money. Wow. So you and your dad are close now? Yes, we are close. You That's know, he's good. a preacher. He found God too, and he found me. You know, so I appreciate that. I love, I love my mom and my daddy. I forgive both of them. I love, dear, you know what? Life too short. I, I lost, like that because there's so many people, people who can't forgive. For sure. Who That's still feel be hurt because of what they've been through in their life when they were a kid? They still have their mama up because their mama this that whatever, or their daddy wasn't in their life, and they don't know. That they, they just like where were you why were you right. over here doing this and you know raising other kids instead of trying to raise me and right there's so many different scenarios and we hear it all the time but right. some people have so much anger right and don't know and yes god is the bridge to help you to forgive and forget for real you know what i mean is that when you forgave is because of god oh yes this was my whole journey for me leaving for me to see to sing i was asking like I said, what I'm supposed to be in life, what I'm supposed to do, I was angry, turn up stuff, and sing. What's the it? I'm like, I can't even sing. But I'm telling you, God showed me something, and that's where I'm going. I love it. You love it? I love it. It's, it's to be loved. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? It's very special. So whenever you are, so what's the next project? So, y'all, if you didn't know, Ariana <laughs> got a twerk video. Coming right <laughs> up, <laughs> if you didn't know. So I think I'm going to throw my twerk video back home to, like, kind of open up my, I'm going to do a little EP for the summer. And it is wide open. Wow. It is a mix of genres. 
We got that I got one too many lovers. Hey, when his heart can't move on, he played one too many games. And his heart wasn't strong. I had to act up off the rip the lovers torn. I had to dip too many changes. But I ain't gonna give y'all too much. Wow, man. <laughs> Say okay. y'all, y'all be ready for that. You Get see ready. what's going on with hmm. her. Y'all understand what she's doing. You know you ain't heard nothing like it before. Nigga, you niggas gonna have to pay for that. I'm not gonna just Mm-mm. Yeah, you got to pay for that. Mm. <laughs> but I got some projects, I got something for the girls, I got something for the boys. Y'all know I love y'all mans. And I know I got more male, females than everything. Really? If y'all really listen to my lyrics, it be because like they gangsta love. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me ask you this. So top three artists of all time. Top Dead three artists? Lot. Top three artists of all time. Dead or alive. Any, Any genre. genre. Any genre. Top three. Number one. Tina Turner. Okay. Tina Turner's a number one. Never, we never We got never that. had a okay. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Um, Lady Fat. Lady Fat. Never got her Never either. got her either. Let's Let see what's going on. Number three. Number three. Oh, look. You got to be my name. My biggest artist that I love this to. Um... I'm going to say Give Young right now. Wow. All three. That we like, I listen to him every day. Give Young. Give Young. I've because never heard of Give Young. Give Young. What song? These rooms are depleted. <laughs> never heard it. <laughs> so. Heart anniversary. Heartbreak anniversary. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah, I like I like you. Well, I listen. His name, listen, Give man. I, I just say, um, oh. I, I, are you special? And uh, I appreciate you, man. I, I know you, you. I know you. Uh, you. You. Don't forget about me. That's all I can tell you. Hey, what man. I want to ask her. Though, hey, man, you special. Come on. Come on. I want to ask. Um, go back to the lowest point in your life, mm-hmm. where you felt like you had no other choice. Mm-hmm. What could you go back and tell a little girl, or maybe yourself at that age? Mm-hmm. How old were you at the lowest point in your life? I'm gonna say by 13. 13? When I just, uh, that's when I just kind of got, like, just waiting on a phone call from one of my parents. Just either one of them. What would, you te- and what would you tell that child at that age that is feeling discouraged, that feel like, maybe I want to commit suicide, maybe I can't go on my life? What would you tell them to encourage them? I'm gonna say, don't give up faith. People really go through things that we don't understand. Every, until we grow up and actually go through those things ourselves is when we start to forgive. Wow. So until, if you feel any doubt, you pray. You pray to God. And just like a prayer, it's like a call, like you calling somebody for real. And if you really believe it, it'll really happen. I'm really here to tell you, like, I'm telling y'all, I'm leaving y'all in one direction. We're in the book of Revelations. Wow. So I'm telling y'all to get ready. So if you haven't any faith, man, listen. Don't have no faith doubts. Just pray. And it's, it, it sounds crazy, but it really works. It works in mysterious ways. You can't see it. You can't touch it. You, you can't feel it, but you know it's there. You feel me? Like you know it's there. It actually changed. Wow. Let me just say, Thank man, you. to add to that, man, I just want to say, man, that, that, that you have to be able, you have to be them went through something in order to. Oh yeah. Say what you just said. Oh yeah. You you, you know I felt that mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. see it's, it's something about when you done hit rock bottom or you done bump your head enough to where you understand what it is to have to rely on God totally, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. totally on God. Not not sure. your your resources, but God's resources. For sure. And then when He show up, that's why you can speak like you just spoke. For sure. You see what I'm saying? For it, sure. It, it, you everybody can't do that because they got mama, daddy, cousin, brother, cut. Co- but when you don't have anyone and you have to rely on God, that's when you can speak like she just spoke. Mm-hmm. That's real talk. That's real talk. So I check it, it, man. Boss we appreciate talk. you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> real talk and boss talk. <laughs> boss talk. Boss talk. <laughs> <laughs> check it, man. That's another. Hey, man. Great. Hey, we love you. We wish you all love the you success. Sure. We wish you the best. Same for us. Same for us. And and we definitely gonna be paying attention to you, mm-hmm. and and we got your number. You locked in with us for sure. Say man, check it, man. Terry Terry's in the house, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. And we out. Mm.